All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CCS Advanced League. I'm Jason Crip5. I'm here with Mikey. How are we doing tonight? Oh, all good. But um, I mean, I mean, this is going to be an amazing. This is going to be a very, very big matchup. I mean, Dog Alpha versus TA Blaze, absolute banger of a series coming up tonight. These are two teams with very, very, very big trash talkers, very, very big personalities, and very, very big game styles and game plans going ahead. I expect a lot of action going into this draft. As you know, we're kind of live into draft already, and you know, for the side of Dog Alpha, there's going to be a priority as. Um, banning out some of the AD carries on the side of TA Blaze, getting rid of some of the one-trick options like no attack, Seraphine, like that gangplank off of Hazem. So a lot of kind of just you know specific targeted ban options going on so far. Mike, is your mic stuff all good yet? Nice. It is very good. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so we we see the the bands coming out. I mean, obviously Noah Tosi's got the the Seraphine in the back pocket. Uh, we see the Senna coming out as well. Um, that's that's more of a pick. That's like, I just think it's really OP right now with uh, with like Cho'Gath and uh, a lot of different super tanks. And we see the Varus getting locked in. So we already we already got a hype ulti to to look out for. Um, I'm hoping that this is. Uh, that this is not the the mid Varus AP, but you know it very well could be with Shima. You never know. Um, okay, yeah, absolutely. Zeri Gragas. Zeri Gragas. I mean Gragas. You know Lobax picking up the Gragas, trying to show his son Buddha how it's done, as you usually would. You know Gragas is a very very strong champion in the current meta, has a lot of flex potential, and you know I think. TA Blaze making a statement here, showing Buddha how it's going to be done with this Gragas. I like the Zeri as well. Good, highly mobile carry threat. And Riddy's Belveth is going to be picked as a response. And, you know, you know, I don't really get to see Belveth very often. You know, the champion doesn't confuse me anymore, but, you know, it's definitely a champ that has a lot of carry potential. And it kind of screams to me that Dog Alpha do want to be able to play through their jungler. Yeah, and we know, like, Riddy has been... Just absolutely going crazy on Belveth in solo queue, and uh, we very, very seldom get to see it in the uh, actual tournament. That I think is Ivern mid, by the way. Shima has been playing that in solo queue. Uh, we've seen it in a couple of scrims. I, it must be ready to be pulled out. So I, I'm pretty sure that is an Ivern mid for Shima, and that's going to be a, uh, a funnel strat going over to this Belveth for Riddy. Yeah, I mean, Shima's definitely been cooking up in the lab so far, getting stuff worked up with Riddy, with the rest of the team. I mean, I'm really curious to see how TA Blaze decide to respond. It's going to be Aurelian Soul for Elucidator's Light. Very, very strong pick in the current meta. You know, we saw it dominate the LCS last night. Palafox going crazy on it. But, you know, I think it's going to be a very interesting kind of dynamic between how both teams want to play. You have Dog Alpha, who play, you know, very funnily, very snowball-y with the Belveth, with the Varus being able to kind of pop off early. But then you have the scaling on the Zeri, you have the scaling on the Aurelian Soul. And, you know, I'm kind of curious to see, what, what do you think, as in, what do you think both teams will do going into the second second phase? I think that, uh, I think that Dog Alpha really needs to get some uh, disengage out. Because right now they have a composition that really wants to converge, and that's really good for Aurelian Soul. It's really good for Gragas. What they need to do is just pick something that can kind of back off once that initial kind of come in has been commenced. Uh, so maybe like, I would think like disengaged champions, you know, things like Nami, things like Janna uh, could be on the board for support. Um, I, I don't necessarily think that they're going to double down on Enchanters since they have Ivern mid. So uh, you see the Nautilus getting banned out. It's a champ that, you know, you can throw ulti out and kind of disengage with. Um but yeah, I, I I have a feeling that they're they're gonna look for probably Lulu uh for this Zeri on R4. Um if they don't ban it here. Uh and then in response yeah, to that, you can kind of go like a, an assortment of ways. I would like to almost see a Sona response to that, but again, uh it just you know, kind of have to see where it goes. But I, I fully anticipate a a Lulu being picked here. Uh, to keep that Gragas top uh, jungle flex alive. Yeah, definitely. I think one thing that you know the side of TA Blaze do really need is that they need some CC to set up this ASL. I think 
it's quite difficult to not have um, any form of crowd control that pairs with Aurelian Soul. And I think Thresh is a great example of a pick that you know can offer some of the CC. It's been buffed up in the meta lately, and I think it provides a great interrupt towards Belveth. You know, stop her from dashing through the ranks, and you know it sets up a good kind of situation for this top jungle flex Gragas being used to counter whatever um, Dog Alpha decides to kind of go for the blind. I think you know. Uh, they do need a bit more of a form of hard engage, I suppose. You know, they do have virus, they do have Ivern, like the root, but it's very soft committal. It's not like yeah. hard, so to say. And I like the Camille a lot. It gives them like a good dive option. I think really it's going to be down to execution, how Dog Alpha are able to execute their comp. It's definitely going to be very important, especially considering that, you know, you're playing into a Zarya, you're going to play in towards an ASOL, and those picks will definitely wreak havoc if you're not executing properly. Yeah, I think I think something like a zillion or even a bard could be pretty good here for Dog Alpha. Their comp is kind of strange, but uh could be tied together with with something like that. Um it looks like it's a mispick. We'll see what that actually is. It is Zyra. Okay. So Zyra a, a, no, go ahead. a a relatively good uh disengaged champion, but also just a a huge damage threat for them, um, which I think is really good because they were very much lacking uh, magic damage should that uh, Varus not go on hit. Um, so I, I kind of like it. I, I think it's going to be a poke Varus with 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 the Zyra. It's going to be a lot of harass, a lot of damage on this area. It's going to be difficult for her to uh, CS effectively. Um, Thresh can't really do a ton into Zyra, so you know we'll kind of see how that goes in in that lane. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, the thing from, um, you know, Dog Alpha from McChicken Riddy is that they're definitely going to, they're definitely putting a lot of eggs in towards this Belveth basket from the side of, you know, Dog, from the side of TA Blaze, you know, you have Lobax's father on the Gragas on a very flexible playmaking pick. And I'm definitely looking forward to how that, how that is kind of, um, you know, going to play out. Um, I'm really curious to see how, you know, just kind of both teams execute their compositions. I think the team fights are going to be very entertaining. You know, we get to see Asol in action. We oh, get yeah. to see Ivern in action. We get to see Zeri. We get to see Darius. We get to see Zyra. These are great picks that I would love to see. And, you know, what, what are your predictions so far for this first game, Mike? I mean, if I were to make, like, any type of prediction, it's more than likely going to be that uh, whoever wins the mid lane 2v2 uh in the early game and is you know therefore permitted to scale between belveth and asol uh i think you know kind of takes the cake as far as like who wins this game uh but again i don't think that belveth functions super well into uh into ta's comp uh i think i think there's a lot of cc a lot of displacement that kind of just cancels her e out uh, so she's gonna have to play these like these fights very very slow, and I think Ivern kind of enables her to do that. Um, so I I, I want to give the edge to 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 uh, Dog Alpha just because like I, I Ivern is OP, <laughs> but you know uh, so is Asol. But I don't know, man. I I feel like the 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 spicy comps. I always got to go for the spicy comps, right? Like I always have to pick them. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. And speaking of things that are going to add a little bit of spice, spectator delay does happen to exist. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on a little short break while our three little words and big hand champions decide to get ready for their summer rift matchup. Once again, this is Dorado Gaming Alpha versus Team Ambition Blaze. Don't get anyone. We'll be right back.
Checking only one something from me, trying to figure who I'm with. Uh, promised I was being honest when I said I'd be the greatest you would get. I can't take it back, I'm off this. I'm too focused, I'ma get rich. I was done with the X, with the game, so I split. Uh, I was in rotation with the niggas you was with. Uh, every single word, it was fiction from your lips. I can't take it back, I'm off this. I'm too focused, I'ma get rich. Uh, why'd I go through this again? With Summoner's Rift for week four of the CCS Advanced League, TA Blaze up against Dorado Gaming Alpha. Once again, I'm JScript5, I have Mikey with me, and both teams loading on towards the Rift here, and we see a early invade coming in from TA Blaze, getting that early priority ward in towards the bot lane, but, you know, Mikey, talk to me, is there any kind of interesting rune or interesting, you know, any side of the builds or anything interesting you notice just off the eye test so far? I mean... So we see a hail of blades taken on Carino's Varus, which uh, I think is fine. Um, you can go hail of blades or comet. That just is kind of an indicator that he's going the poke build, uh, which is kind of what I called out before. Uh, outside of that, I don't see anything like egregious or anything like that. Um, I think that uh, Eludicator's Light could have gotten some uh, value out of first strike this game, considering how low range uh, the Ivern is, but. Uh, Comet also very good for scaling, so, you know, it's, it's not, like, unheard of, you know? Mm -hmm, definitely. I am curious to see what build Elucidator's Light does go for. You know, you do have the option of Leandries with the Rylize and Seraphs, but there's also Rod of Ages and, like, a Rylize that you can go with. I would like to see him go for the Leandries just because it offers a bit more damage, especially as, you know, Aesol has a lot of damage kind of potential. But once again, we'll have to see. Shima starting off with W in the bush, just getting off those, you know, empowered auto attacks. But, you know, jungle just pathing opposite sides as well. What do you think both teams' kind of game plans are for this early game so far? Uh, I think that uh, Gragas is probably going to look to three camp on the bot side and look for bot lane ganks. Um, I, I don't know. It, it, obviously, if there's nothing there, he's just going to head up towards top side. 
Um, but uh, Belveth probably going to be full clearing. Um, you know, if there's an angle mid, I think he'll probably look there. But outside of that, um, I think he's just, you know, full clearing, playing jungle, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, the thing that definitely, you know, entices me the most is that Ivern mid getting a lot of trade value. But we see here, HTK and Hazim kind of going off the trade. Camille using that passive shield really well. Darius trying to stack up that passive. Couldn't get that last tick off. This top lane duel is also equally as interesting. Definitely a skill matchup in my eyes, especially, you know, considering how how, how notorious both top laners are. You know, Hazem, very well-known name around the CCS parts, but... You know, so far, early game looking pretty stable so far. Shima getting in that push with the Ivern mid, using those airy, using those airy autos, using that bush empowered auto to just be able to shove and look to just move around the map. But in the bot lane, this lane is definitely on really interesting as well. Karino and no attack up a solid amount of CS on who asked in perfect tempo. Yeah, I mean, this this lane is incredibly, incredibly hard to play against as low range. Uh, you know, laning into like Varus, Syrah, like they have so much pressure, so much poke. They can zone you off of waves. Like, if if there's not ganks thrown down here, uh, it's it's gonna be a CS deficit, and it's gonna be a pretty hefty one, I would think. Yeah, I mean the thing is, you see three little words. You know, Lobax just pathing away from his bot lane too, giving allowing Ray to kind of just full clear, play it out safe. I mean, maybe it's just a difference in priority. Maybe for the side of TA Blaze, you know, you think, okay, I mean, if it's if Zeri's a scaling lane anyways, you might as well play towards that top side, play towards Darius, who wants to be able to get a lead. And, you know, I, I see him on the minimap there, sitting in towards that bush, going for that gank in towards that top lane. Hazem does have flash, gets pulled back by HTK, though, forces the flash out. Does the does Lobax have no damage? So flash follow from the Darius means first blood goes over towards TA Blaze. I feel like you have to. You have to kind of recognize your your win conditions, right? Uh, like, I think for for TA here, their their win condition is simply let our our bot and mid scale, and you know try and kill top as many times as we possibly can. Um, I think you know you just kind of leave them alone, right? Uh, there's not a not, not a ton you can do in a in a thresh lane that's that's hard countered by the Zyra. You know, anytime you try to come in as 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 a Gragas here, you're just gonna get rooted up and poked out. Uh, it's just it's very difficult to to gank this lane. So they gotta play towards top side. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, TA Blaze did get first blood up in that top lane, but Riddy was able to go for the invade, take away. Lobax's Gromp getting you know just a camp lead gonna be able to pass towards his his own wolves and Gromp now and pick up a more significant lead you see him building towards that noon quiver has you know I can't say is a little bit of an item advantage but definitely has advantage of tempo on the map De definitely wants to be able to just focus more on the farming side of things but Hazem definitely want to make one wants to go a bit testy here see Lobax pathing in towards his Gromp I think we might see a jungle skirmish coming on in here. Gragas and Belaveth about to rig up Riddy. Definitely low on that HP bar. Does have that E for the damage resist. Forced the flash out of the follow flash oh. from Three Little Words. The damage resist oh. coming in. The hook shot stunned. Oh, Three Little Words gonna get slammed down by Riddy. Big hand Riddy lets it be known. Only Buddha can play Gragas like that. Picks up a kill for his own. Picks up a kill for the Belveth. Really well played. Holding on towards that E for just so long. Making sure that Lobax just couldn't get the damage needed for that lethal threshold. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Lobax, Lobax got the book and you know decided that uh, you know he he wanted to to run at the enemy team. You know, I, I feel I get pretty hyped when I buy a book too. You know what I mean? Like, uh, mm -hmm. like you know, you read the Bible, you get a little hype. You know what I'm saying? Shout outs to Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what type of Jesus you've been beating, man. I read the Bible, I'm, I'm about to fall asleep. But see here, the girl, oh, the crab. Three little words, able to get it off with the last little tick of damage. But, you know, game state definitely back to even now, considering that the action definitely heavy, heavily centered around the top side. Bottom lane, the CS deficit is only grouped even more. You look at Karino's inventory too, still sitting on those three potions. He's been relatively chill throughout this entire laning phase. I haven't seen them be able to pressure tower plates just yet, but 
it's definitely looking really positive for the for Dorado Gaming Office bot lane. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's very very difficult. Like I said, for for Thresh and Zeri to like walk up and do anything in this lane. Um, he's he is very much chilling. I I, I don't know if I would have. Uh, I I almost would have liked to see him start like. I, I guess Doran's isn't that good, but he's just chilling on pots right now. There's the double yeah, root. Mean, yeah, but three three. This is exactly what I was talking about. Into... Like it's so hard yeah. to gank that lane. Absolutely. I mean, the ward spots them out, but the, the moment you saw per Perfect Tempo walk up, it becomes really televised. No attack just goes in for that root, and, you know, the hook comes out from Perfect Tempo, but just could not find anything at all. Does mean that the bot lane for TA Blaze can start up this dragon. Both mid laners are reset. Elucidator's Light does have that teleport available, so it means that... You know, should there ever be a skirmish, Aurelian Soul will be there first. Shima does opt to stay on the map, but really looks like he just wants to take the invade on an enemy jungle. Wants to be able to take a couple more camps advantage and build his own lead. Dragon does, should, does go over towards the side of TA Blaze. We see top lanes getting skirmishy once again. HDK pulls back Hazem. Scissor legs aren't going to be enough. The Hexagons uh... all comes down, but HDK picks up the single dingle on towards Azim. Oh no. <laughs> now they get Rift Herald. Okay, I'm not even gonna. Uh, we're, we're not gonna go, go go too in depth on that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, he just got violated. He did. He got violated live, you know, in front of uh, 25 plus people. You know, it's, uh, it's a rough one out here. It's, uh, you know, like I said, shout outs to Jesus on that one. Yeah, I don't even think Jesus could save Hazem there. Cheers. But, I mean, I think looking at the rest of the map, though, I mean, the gold gold is actually still moderately even. Only a little, only 100 gold leaders. So I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, what the gold is looking like for individual champions, if we, if we can get a toggle on that. But, you know, I'm, I, I'd, I'd imagine that, you know, Camille is going to be, you know, down a significant amount of gold. And yeah, like right there, 500 gold deficit in that top lane. But every other lane, you know, still a couple gold swinging back and forth. Mid jungle... You know, advantage is going over towards Riddy and Elucidator's Light, respectively. But in the bot lane, it's definitely Carino just winning out hard. 300 gold lead on top of who asked. And, you know, I definitely think that this is going to... Varus is going to be a huge breaking point. If three, if Lobax can get a kill anywhere near this bottom side, they could definitely take advantage of the game state. That being said, though, Lobax is in that top side of the map, hovering around Hazem once again. You know, will he get violated again? HDK is just holding this freeze so well not letting Hazem walk up, not letting him breathe, giving him a bunch of pressure right now. I fixed the scoreboard. Okay. <laughs> it was bothering me, I'm sorry. Um Hazem oh, oh. The, the flash for flash? It looks like it's just gonna end up as that as well, but I mean once again, Hazem, you know, just kinda going a little bit too at Going a little bit too aggressive there, have forced to burn the flash as well. You see Lobax sitting in the bush. The Bomba angle can be there. Once again, I think really, you know, happy to just sit, sit, stay, sit, stay put, keep farming on his camps. Has like a, a, a four camp lead, a three, four camp lead now. And, you know, this lead is going to expand for the Belveth more. You see he has him in that top lane, forced to back away by the Gragas and Darius. He's going to lose a lot of that minion wave and, and that's really bad. For the Camille, for the side, the dog Alpha gonna lose out on the XP. The threat of the dive does have the ultimate available. So if he looks for this play, he has to go for the out play. Three little words holding on to that body sample. Here comes Riddy with the W with the flash, picks up the kill on towards three little words. LHK might be a little bit trouble, but the Ivern shield from <laughs> Shiva, the dark technology, <laughs> able to save his top laner, Hazismos. You're gonna be fine, baby. The Super Ivern zero TP for the side of Tong Alpha. The TP saved by the Ivern. Who'd have thunk it? Now double buffs secured. We have a 2-0 Belveth. This guy's gonna be hitting like a truck now with that uh Kraken. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's such I a mean, good play for them. Yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful pathing from Riddy, you know, walking in towards that top side, being able to anticipate and just, like, answer the pressure that Lobax was applying in towards, you know, the top half of the map. And that's definitely very bad 
for the side of Gragas, especially considering that, you know, he's opting for that Night Harvester build, wants to go for that heavy AP damage, but 0, 2, and 1 compared to a 2 and 0 Belveth with that Mythic item completed. In fact, first Mythics on the map are towards that top side, so even though Hazem did get kind of body blasted on that top side by the Darius, still is able to get that Mythic item. We see here, hovering bot side, we see the Aesol, we see the Ivern, we see the Gragas coming down, perfect tempo, getting chunked out just to 1 HP, able to walk on out there, Daisy stalling, harassing Aurelian Soul on the side here, but HDK also going for the trade with Hazem on that top side. Hazem wants to go aggressive, the pull in, coming through the Conqueror healing. Will it be enough? The dunk isn't available. HDK oh. doesn't get stunned up, but Hazim picks up the return kill, the single dingle right back at him. I know Bennett was talking crazy in Twitch chat earlier, saying he will not lose on his one trick, but Hazem definitely shutting him up there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We we see we see the tech coming out. We, once that Sunder is complete, you know, you're you're finally a champion. Uh so we see that coming out. Tons of healing, tons of damage. Especially against uh champions like Darius. Uh it is a very, very tough matchup uh for Camille, so um yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's good stuff. Yeah, uh, this one. Oh, no oh, attack. Gonna face check in towards the hook. Three little words. There's not enough damage. Bomba comes on it. Elucidate oh. is like, does have the skies to send. Chooses to hold on Ritty's to it for way too long, though. Really is going crazy right now. Two for zero for the side of Dog Alpha. I, I don't know if Elucidator's Light had enough mana for that skies to send. That would have definitely been a turning point on the fight if, if Perfect Tempo was able to get that hook on towards. The Zyra there, Shima taking way too much damage here, might be in a little bit of trouble, but Elucidator's Light just runs out of mana, can't look for more. HTK gonna be chasing down Hazem on the side here, but should be a top side 2v2. Hazem just gonna be able to hook shot on towards the side, but first tower goes over towards Dog Alpha. I'm starting to regret predicting TA Blaze here, Mikey. This game is going all sails smoothly for the side of Ridian Co. Yeah, and I was just, I was laughing before because it's uh, it's kind of a meme that, you know, there's one way to counter Aesol, and that's just to run around in circles around him. And we saw Shima just running around in circles, and he was wasting all of his mana. Oh, it's so funny oh. to see. Hazem gonna face check in towards HDK here, does get pulled back by that, by that Darius, but look at the damage from the Sunder, from the true damage Q. These short trades are going in the favor of Hazem now, and you know, he's letting him know he's S-keying on him, he's, he's telling HDK to back the hell up, because, you know, just when we thought that this top lane matchup was gonna go in towards the favor off the Darius, you know, Hazem able to show up, able to make things work out, the ultimate on towards Elucidator's Light, the ultimate oh. Skysis that does come down, knock up on towards oh, Hazem root. though, no attack from behind, three man Zyra oh, ultimate, knocks them all up, Varus, Carino picks up a kill on towards Perfect Tempo as well. It looks like Riddy is going to look for the chase down on towards the Lobax, on towards Elucidator's Light. Oh, is that going to be enough damage? No! Lobax able to survive on towards a sliver of health, but everything is just going heads for Dorado Gaming Alpha right now. Top lane tower going down as well. Another two for zero. And just you know, a couple minutes ago, the gold lead was relatively even, even in favor of TA Blaze, but right now it's ballooned all the way to 5,400 gold. Nah, that's crazy. Uh, no attack actually went kind of nuts. Uh, it doesn't no show. No attack hitting it from the back. Yeah, straight up hitting it from the back. I mean, that was that was some oh, no attack hitting... incorporated right there. You know what I mean? Like uh, once again, shout outs to Jesus on that one. Uh, <laughs> that's all Jesus I gotta say, walked, man. Jesus walked so no attack could run. My God, yeah, that was a that's what I'm saying. That was a godsend off a of Zyra ult right there. Straight up. Swords. Straight just up. going absolutely crazy but you know right now if you're the side of ta blaze how do you think you respond with with how this early game barrage from the side of dorado gaming alpha is gone well we we got to get low backs off of apex um and then once 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 low backs logs out of apex uh i think they have a chance yeah but i mean speaking of chances really maybe he wants to see if he can have a chance at hdk here Going in for that Belva, dancing around, <laughs> looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Iver W comes oh, on with the slow, it's just way too much. HGK flashes away, but it's too little, too late. Riddy is unstoppable right now. Big hand Riddy, going crazy, go big on the Belveth right now. Going a little Talking stupid, going a little dummy right now. 
Yeah, it has a. Don't worry, Sion and Ord will be harder. Will be bad to escape for you. <laughs> awesome. Letting HTK Mama. know the side set goes on on towards Carino. Baba followed up. Picks up the kill for Lobax there. Buddha wouldn't be able to do that. That's what I can say right now. But top lane tier 2 does go over towards Riddy. They are funneling that gold in towards Riddy right now. It's all about the Shima Riddy show right now. Who fucking ass going for that crash and burn? Lobax misses the body slam the though. Play. Perfect tempo. Wants oh. the hook does get it on towards He's Shima. Right That's going to be a dead Ivern. Elucidator's Light is able to pick up that kill. But once again, I mean... It's just a lot. Carino did get caught out there, but once again, it's gonna be TA Blaze making the response on towards the play. Riddy just being able to walk in the face of Lobax right now. Up two levels, up a lot of gold, and up a lot of pressure. Yeah, and I, I think you know we, we saw the the play that Lobax made uh, earlier. You know, he bolted over the wall into the uh, A Soul ult. If they're able to combo that amount of displacement and CC together. Uh, even though they're down a lot of gold, they can really turn a fight around. Um, uh, Hazem kind of did something there. I mean, he's kind of schmoving on him, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he, he's letting him know. He's, tell, he's telling HK to get on Okay, Orton, the Orton, lantern. Orton, 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 Orton. Might get caught out here. Daisy is going to stall a little bit. The Varisol comes down as well. Chains of Corruption able to stop the rest of TA Blaze in their tracks. Three little words. Is going to be able to sustain up with that Gragas, with that alcohol usage there. But I mean, once again, it's just a lot of plays that TA Blaze are making aren't enough right now. I mean, from my point of view, it really looks like Riddy is just running this map. That is a 30 gold donation with that pink word. Cheers. Uh, but yeah, I, I, Riddy, uh, Riddy is doing Riddy things right now. Um, it's it, it to me, it seemed uh, mildly disrespectful to to leave the Belveth up, knowing that that is Riddy's main champion. Uh, but you know, he's kind of showing him why it needs to be banned next game. So we will see yeah, that definitely. probably happening. I mean, I think the bright side for this, or I think the good news for the side of TA Blaze is they still have the ASOL as a scaling option. 172 CS, most farm in the game right now, have the Zeri as a scaling option. These two hyper late game champions mm -hmm. definitely have an option to get back into the game. You know, you saw, you, you saw how things went in terms, in terms of LCS and, you know, Palafox was almost able to just single was you know able to single-handedly claw his team back up from the death. So definitely an angle when it comes to what yeah, once once you hit like two fifty three hundred Stardust, uh, that's that's kind of where you know the sweet spot is where that that E becomes a big problem. Uh, you know your Q range is longer. Uh, it's 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 huge. Uh, so you know. There's, yep, absolutely. there's definitely like insurance. Oh my God. Speaking of insurance though, Hazel wants to make sure HDK has his insurance line covered up. The true oh, damage is just way nah. too much. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Has him. He's gonna want to type in all chat probably, but Lucidary's light in three little words. Want to look at Shima and this Ivern looking pretty dead right now. <laughs> Not gonna be anything that Shima can do. Elucidator's light is oh, no, gonna get, get the start execute. execution. Flash forced out in perfect tempo. The three real words. Baba, no attack might Baba. be in trouble here. The Baba Kill followed me. by the Varisol. The damage is everywhere, but Riddy gonna go crazy. No, oh Lucidator's light is gonna start spinning I'm everywhere. Awesome, able to trade the kill, but Carino flashes on in, gets the double kill on the Zeri, gets the triple kill on the Thresh. A three for two for the side of Toronto Gaming Alpha. Nah, they're going stupid, going crazy. I'm not gonna lie. They're going a little dummy, a little friggin' nutty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Doesn't look like they are gonna be able to do Baron, though. Yeah, not with Poke Varus. So. That's probably yeah. suboptimal. Not gonna be able to capitalize on that, but what a fight that was. I mean, it started off with Shima getting collapsed on, and Elucidator's Light was able to pick up a kill, but I think it just stalled on for a little too much. Then you move in towards the, the river, where, you know, three little words went for that flash body slam on towards no attack, was able to pick him up. You know, the Sky's Descent did land on Carino, but no one was able to follow up the damage on towards the Varus. Carino able to free hit for the entire fight and, you know, pick up that triple kill for the fruits of his labors. And, you know, T Blaze might want to get Buddha and Lobax definitely hasn't been the most convincing on the crack is misses the barrel on the cross. 
Hey, who who wins a Gragas 1v1? Lobax or Matt G? Buddha. Who you got? Who you got? I, I, I got low backs, unfortunately. I, I got low backs too, for sure. I mean, right now, look, speaking of who you got, Riddy or HTK right here, I think the results look is pretty self explanatory for this one. Riddy catches out the Darius 2 and 6 right now. We went from 2 and 0 on that Darius all the way to 2 and 6. HTK definitely not having a good game here. They might want to look to catch out three little words here, but Lobax dodges out on the Chains of Corruption. Karino goes wide there. Looks like they want to be able to start off the Baron. The Riddy has a lot of attack speed, has a lot of shielding with that Belveth, with that Ivern on the support side. Hazan waiting on the wings, looking for the turn. Daisy helping out with that Baron damage as well. They do have the Execute with, with, with a Soul E. Bear that in mind. Does have that Execute, does have that Smite option available. It looks like Little three little words. Lobax went oh. in a little bit too early. These guys are oh! Lobax! Lobax! He is yes! him! Steals the Baron from the nose of Riddy. That's going to be a huge gold swing in the favor of TA Blaze. Okay, and like like we were saying before, we have that late game security. We don't have that, that, that Rod of Ages fully stacked quite yet. That Rylize isn't completed yet. I mean, there's a whole lot Seraph's more under. scaling to do. There it is. There's the Rylize. Okay, so once we get that Rod of Ages stack, we get a free uh, level, and then we're, we're, we're looking pretty. So it's... uh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right now, the mid kind of matchup is definitely one that could be really exploited. Elucidator's Light has a significant farm lead over Shima. It's going to have a significant XP lead, too, especially with the nature of how these champions want to play. One thing that I am going to be on the lookout for is still this top side 2v2. Kazum and Brady are still extremely ahead of HTK and Lobax. The Baron Smite Steel did do a lot of work. It buys a lot of time for the side of TA Blaze, but you look at Carino, three items on the Varus Man Immune, not fully stacked up yet, but I don't think that matters as much considering how strong Varus already is. They're gonna look oh on towards God. the top side, on oh towards Hazem, on the splash oh! to dodge it away, but the shutdown goes over towards Lobax. Hazem didn't have enough damage to even to kill off the Darius to go for that one for one trade. And it looks like they are be able to get the kill over towards Lobax. Are going to be able to get some gold back in towards their pockets. But once again, you know, Dog Alpha are be able to pick up another objective, pick up some more gold for themselves. But that ASOL E is starting to look like a bit of a threat here. There's the Bottom free level, just level 15 up there. Now. Two levels up, but here comes Riddy. Here comes the big hat. They want to look on Elucidator's Light. And you can fly, fly all oh, you want, yeah, little dragon. Nah. But you're not going to be able to escape from Riddy on a killing spree. 8, 1, and 6. He is single-handedly trying to bring Dorado Gaming out for this win. I mean, Riddy's kind of him. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, Riddy deserves a McChicken with cheese. He does. He does. Cheers. Shima oh. gonna get hooked up though. Shima gonna be in a little bit of trouble. The Strangle Thorns is gonna buy some time. HTK does have that whole breaker completed, so that should be a lot of bonus stats and things that they can buy out in comes in terms of the side lane. Flay hates his casters, but we hate Flay too, isn't that right, Mikey? Hey, Flay's an op for real. Yeah, Flay's an op. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. But, cheers, cheers. But the point is, um, you know, this is still a four thousand gold lead. It's not as significant as um you know, earlier in the game, but, you know, it's still definitely a good advantage for the side of Dorado Gaming Alpha. Carino has that man immune stacked. I don't know how much gold he's sitting on, but the BF sword is still really far from completion for who fucking ass. So there's definitely that aspect of worry. You look at Hazem, finish that Sterex gauge, three items, three items on Riddy as well. Shima still sitting on those two items, but I don't think he's going to go for any more. You see him building that support item, going to get those wards out. You see no attack, complete that Rylize, going to go towards that Leandris too. Right now, just purely on the item front, there is a significant lead. What do you think it's going to take for TA Blaze to be able to get back into the game? I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be getting gold onto, like, getting these shutdowns onto either Aesol or or the uh, Zeri. I mean, you have to get these shutdowns onto one of those two. Um, you know. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be an aspect of consideration. What I do know is that, you know, one good fight from the side of Dog oh, Alpha can pretty. just end the game here. Who's looking ass? Forced to blow that flash. Not looking good right now from... You know, TA Blaze, they're trying to get some side lane presence back. Thanks to Darius, thanks to Aesol pushing out the map. 
but I don't know if it's gonna be enough here. You know, we're, uh, uh, the side of you know TA Blaze are, are gonna be on a timer. Can you get your two scaling champions scaled enough, or is Belveth just gonna take over the game? I think I think the benefit of uh, the current game state right now is you have Cloud Soul, which is not incredibly impactful when you look at their comp. Uh, it's very good on Ivern, but apart from that, it's kind of bad for everybody else. Uh, so, you know, that that's not inherently a win con for anybody. Um, so, you know, that scaling kind of insurance is still there. I mean, you're, you're within two and a half thousand gold. Uh, it's very much not over. I know that the scoreboard and like, you know, looking at, uh, you know, dragons and kills, you know, it, it looks like it's a very, you know, one-sided game, but it's very, very winnable for either team. Yeah, no attack. Playing with fire here. Not gonna get caught out though. Three little words. Go for the explosive cast. Not gonna be able to find the target. That looks like a Buddha ult right there, unfortunately. But, you know, the pressure is mounting from Dog Alpha. They're definitely slowing down the pace. They're making sure that, you know, no one's getting caught out thanks to silly things. But, you know, as of right now, you know, it, it, it's looking it's looking pretty bad for the side of T plays. I, I I don't know. You know, thirty seconds until this Baron, it looks like both teams are gonna gear up for the Baron fight. But it looks if like they're gonna want to get caught here. It's it's on yeah. towards Azari. The chains of corruption forces the cleanse. Flash from Carino as well. But it looks like Riddy is gonna be on a rampage once again. Big hand Riddy with his McChickens going crazy on the rift right now. Lobax tries to look for that body stab, but no attack. Plays the spacing out well, able to just zone away. The Gragas, this Baron might be the one to get the end push. The Skies Descent is available for Elucidator's Light, though. So there could be an option for a comeback. Yeah, I'm going to say, Riddy's hands be looking real vascular right now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, real uh, big. Them things, them things is vascular as hell. Uh, we got level 16 on the big Bomba ulti. Let's see if it actually hits anybody. Yeah, does look like they are just going to use the Zyra ult to be able to zone out and prevent any form of steal, but it looks like they're just going to jump on HD first. Big. The Bomba Dog going to have full There's effect here. Hazem is still going to be able to live. Perfect tempo. Going to get picked off Where as well. Lucid is Light is still sitting on that Where Ace of Ultimate. Ulting? Wants to go for the size to send out, but Hazem flashes and then walks back into the Hulk, able to pick up one kill there. Sure, it's going to be one kill going over in the favor of TA Blaze, but Lucid Nader's Light forced to be in an awkward position. Who can ask him to get caught out by that? Belveth Riddy is dominating once again, and it's looking gloom and doom. For the side of TA Blaze here, Mikey, they want to go for the end of the game. Look at Riddy, man! He's hitting the towers faster than my mom used to hit me when I swore when I was a kid. Look at that thing, man! What am I watching? Cheers. What a statement game coming out from the side of Dorado Gaming Alpha. Not leaving any prisoners behind. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. In game, in game, cheers. by the way, in game. My mom used to hit me in game. Cheers. Cheers, 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 Riddy. cheers. Riddy. I mean, Riddy just, just gap. Yeah, Riddy went a little crazy. Cheers. Cheers, indeed. Oh my god. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers I mean. That was definitely, you know, the early game was a little bit testy. If you kind of look back on it, you know, you saw some kills going back and forth. But the moment, and I mean the moment, Dog Alpha started to like play into Riddy's tempo past that kind of 10 minute mark, the game just ballooned out of control. Oh, Chad is saying that they can't hear us. Cheers. No way. Is it? 
Oh, now they can. Okay, now they can. Oh. Oh, it's Dojos. Cheers. Well, you know, that sounds like it'll be a good opportunity to go to a break so we can figure out if there are act actually any audio problems. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Game 2 between TA Plays and Dorado Gaming Alpha. Tell me you don't wanna try Because baby, I got to hold you down If you give me a chance You keep a step with dance
All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on to Ward's Dream. Big hand really up against Buddhist Greg is here. Dorado Gaming Alpha against TA Blaze. Going to the second game, both teams have opted for the same sides. So do you expect the same banners to come through, or what do you think will change? Uh, I mean, I, I definitely expect a uh, Belveth ban to come through. Um, I love that it's Big Hand Riddy and Buddha Gragas is the names. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, the, the kind of standard things that we're going to see is going to be the uh, the the Seraphian. Um, and yeah, they're going to ban the Skarner from from Lobex. So we won't we won't, we won't get that hype. Uh, but yeah, there's the Belveth. So pretty standard yep. across the board, you know what I mean? Um, with with a couple of targets here and there. Um, but now that now that Kate and and Zaya are on the board, I wonder if they're gonna elect to go for the B1 Varus again. Um, yeah, I mean they could definitely go for that Varus again. I think another thing they could do is they could go for that Senna Chogath Senna. I mean there it is. Senna sh should be what's coming through for the side and no attack, I, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. What is their response? Is it going to be a uh, a Jinx Lulu? Is it going to be uh, some sort of engaged champion? Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery indeed. Yeah, definitely something that's going to be on the curious end. There, I'm definitely wondering, you know, what the response from TA Blaze will be. But Jinx, you know, with those new buffs, I'm not sure if they are like you know real real buffs. You know, the W slow is significant and the R damage. It's always going to be a threat, but is that going to be enough to turn Jinx into a kind of top tier champion? That's going to be, you know, something that's like, you know, obviously he's going to be really strong or something that's going to be really significant yeah. in terms I mean, of the map. And that's definitely something I'm curious about. We see the attack speed per level, which I think is the biggest buff of the of the things that rolled out for her. Uh, it just means that, you know, she inherently will just scale better. Uh, that lethal tempo will be easier to get active and therefore more rockets coming out. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very interesting to see that as a response to something like Senna. Cause it's, it's one of those things you're, you're going to like scale kind of alongside each other. Um, mm -hmm. and it's just really going to be about who positions better in team fights and stuff like that. So I, I think that, uh, that who asked is like, yo, I'm going to position better than you and I'm going to lock this hyper carry champion. And, uh, you know, I'm going to out carry you essentially. Um, Oh, the Xin Zhao. I like it. I like it. I'm hype. The Xin Zhao Wukong matchup. Yeah, cheers. I mean, that's definitely going to be something that's, you know, that's going to be a very, very, two very brawling centric junglers. I don't think Shima is going to have to, is going to get to opt for that Ivern mid lane again. So, you know, hopefully they handle the, the handle the situation a bit different. The Cho'Gath though, Definitely yep. a spicy pick, and I think, you know, is a great pick. Senna Cho'Gath, we're seeing it in LCK now, and I think that we're going to see it here in CCS Advance. Yeah, it's uh, it's so potent. Like, it is absolutely insane. Uh, you, you can just never kill the Cho'Gath once he gets, you know, an item or two. Uh, with that Senna pocketing him, it's just like, uh, it's absurd. That champ, that champ is not reasonable right now. I, I just want to throw that out there. It's not. Uh, ooh, Sona, Sona, Sona! Yes! Ooh. Why, why are you so gassed up about the Sona here? Champ is OP. Sleeper broken. Actually OP. Champ is super broken. Okay. Especially, like, w when you when you factor in how hard it scales, like, genuinely, that, that champion is so busted. It's insane. And when you pick it into stuff that's, like, you know, a... a a you know scaling composition you're gonna scale right alongside it so you have you have jinx who's gonna you know be that crazy hyper carry and sona's just gonna sit back and spam w and q and e and just use power cords to like kite people out uh she has a free exhaust on her w power cord which is nuts um champ champ is broken champ is super broken i hope yeah, it's actually piloted properly because it's actually broken yeah, I mean, I think one thing to keep in mind, though, is the laning potency of Senna Cho'Gath into that. Sure, you can have a lane which, you know, you can sit back and play with range, but, you know, you hit Senna Q into Cho'Gath Q, as Pig Big Man Man did point out, it's definitely, you know, Senna Q into Cho'Q is basically a guaranteed knockup, and it can be a lot of damage piling down on towards that Jinx. See the Jackson Fiora bands coming out from the side of Dog Alpha, though, it looks like they want to force HTK on towards a tank, and... 
I mean, Hazem said it, you know, Scion Orn won't be banned out. So maybe they can tempt HTK into picking that. We see the Camille and Ivern getting banned out here. But, you know, what do you expect to see from this second phase of picks? Uh, I mean, it's probably going to be an Orn on R4, I would think, for them. Uh, with, with Camille, Fiora, Jax all banned out. Uh, they're going to go for Orianna. Okay. I mean, it's a pretty... I mean, it, was, it was a relatively, like, easy Orn play, but... Uh, I guess they want to save top counter. So yeah, I mean, HGK did pick up those early solo kills on towards Hazem. It was only towards the later stages of the game where the matchup kind of became a lot more favored for for Hazem. So you know, definitely gonna see how that plays out. But you know, I'm curious to see what Shima picks in towards that Oriana. Is that gonna be the LeBlanc? Oh Buff, man, those, updated LeBlanc as those, well. Those buffs are feeling nice. Those buffs are feeling real nice. Uh, actually a relatively viable champion. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like super broken, but into Oriana, it's very, very good. Uh, yeah, so definitely, definitely, definitely a really yeah. good pick. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how Yoshima pilots the tech. You know, looking forward to see how it goes. Renekton! We're B5-ing Renekton. I like it. I like it. Now, now, what are they gonna do? Now, what are they gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna lock Orn, right? They're gonna lock Scion. I mean, uh, if they do, I feel like you know, it, it's really just gonna be if HDK can take those beatings or not. They're kind of, you know, yeah, playing essentially, game of that's kind of where you're at, right? You're just gonna have to eat pressure and just like not die, and Why then you'll be to that, though? super useful. And it's a no pick. Oh, they're actually AFK top lane. No pick, Darius. Darius. It's Darius? Yep, it's Darius into Renekton. Darius. Darius. Cheers. I mean, cheers, what do you think yeah, about, cheers. Yeah, what do you think about these comps so far? Um, I mean... <laughs> I, I definitely like... Uh, I I definitely like TA's comp better. Uh, just as like a you know, hey, this is a competitive League of Legends composition. Um, but again, Dog Alpha, like I, I don't know, man. I just I, I like the way they draft. It's so spicy. Uh, it it's, is. It's I think it's, it's a it's yeah. honestly like a really really good call and response uh, type draft, and uh, you know if, if they're able to. Once again, uh, shut down Darius and kind of leave bot lane on an island. You know, uh, I, I think it's very, very, very good for them. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just, you know, you just throw pressure with this Renekton. You just kind of chain dive top lane, uh, and you know, hope that Darius doesn't play well uh, and and get a kill out of it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, speaking of things that we got to hope for, you know, we got to hope that TA Blaze could make this second game, you know, much more competitive than that first one, considering how they kind of fell apart near towards that, you know, later end stage of the game. But we're only going to find that out once we get past the spectator delay. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back with this week four matchup between TA Blaze and Dorada Gaming Alpha.
up up on the lobby floor. Yeah, that's how it's the kind of war. I'm coming down like a waterfall. Check my phone, but you never come. Lost in the ceiling, caught up in the ceiling. I can't seem to let you go. Locked in this cage, I've been stuck here for days, and I can't seem to let you go. You put me up and I put you down. You gave me love, then I stole your crown. You let me in, then I pushed you out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on towards Summoner's Rift. TA Blaze up against Dorado Gaming Alpha, and this time we're gonna see Dog Alpha up for a topside invade on towards that Darius. No teleport available for HTK, means that this is gonna be a dicier lane. However, you know, any rune choices or things you want to touch up on, though, Mikey? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to touch on this Glacial Cho'Gath tech. I mean, we're going to see it right here. I mean, here. it's working out right now. We're the Flash Chain right coming in from Shima. Oh. First Blood goes over to Hossum as well. That is the perfect start for Dog Alpha. Topside invade. Yeah, I... <laughs> that, was, uh, that was that was really, actually, that was a really nice Flash Chain too to kind of seal the deal. Uh, that that will put a target on Shima's head, I would imagine, for three little words to kind of look at him. So, um, you know, we'll 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 see that uh, more than likely. He'll, he'll throw some pressure over there, but uh, yeah, we see the the junglers once again starting on opposite sides. Uh, this time, ready gonna path down uh, as opposed to pathing up. We didn't actually get a summoner spell out of HTK there, so. Um, Relatively I mean, long, safe. The, yeah, the all long sword advantage for the side of um, Hazem is going to be a, is quite significant, though, especially oh, as yeah. it's you know long sword and D blade in towards that D shield. But I mean, Shima definitely can be punished for not having flash. But you know, the early levels of LeBlanc, you know, you have that once you have that W, it's also going to be really hard for you know Wukong Ori without any hard CC to look for that gank too. So definitely going to be curious as to how that will go. Yeah, we see the the sapphire crystal start for uh, for the uh, Cho'Gath. I mean, it's not super optimal to go a Dorn's item because you want to get uh, onto your spikes as soon as possible. So starting a component like that is very standard. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see yeah, what, I mean we'll see what goes down here. Yeah, I mean, I think the logic for the Sapphire is you want to be able to hit that Lost Chapter as soon as possible so you can mm -hmm. lock, you know, the Sona and Jinx in, into the lane because, you know, the sustain coming out from Senna Cho is just going to be so significant. Every minion that Cho'Gath kills, you know, you're able to pick up some extra health, some extra mana. And once you have that Lost Chapter for that extra bit of oomph, that extra bit of damage, you know, it's going to be really hard. Karino starting at W, second just to make sure he gets a little bit more extra wave clear shima going in extremely aggressive onto elucidator's light however is gonna get chunked out by the lob oh this might be the return oh. solo kill shima pops the mark on towards elucidator's light hazem picks up the solo kill in towards the top side dorado gaming alpha come out the gates barking up they're swinging right now there's so here comes big hand ready into the here bottom we'll see some happens ready. here Knock up, not gonna be able to land on towards oh, Jinx. The perfect tempo. First, a flash super early. Ritty. Ritty, flash not in. Gonna keep flash in. The Let the demons win. Is he gonna continue? Oh, the flash follow from Carino, though. They're gonna jump on towards perfect tempo, but Carino is gonna be Look in the middle of the trouble. Man. Perfect tempo is gonna have picked up the root on Body towards the Lasso. Going in on towards the Jinx. The Jinx is gonna get excited, but the W from Zizashima with another oh solo God. kill. Ritty picks up a kill on towards one side. It's six to two. Oh, hell nah. We are so back to still clearing his goal. Two kills a minute right now, JC. This is crazy. Shima oh, going a little, little snutty. Oh, Shima! Shima going a little snutty with it. 
Oh my god! Oh, FF! Oh, go oh, next! Go no. next! Go next! Oh, man! Mikey, I'm gonna be honest. Last night, I was casting CCS Novice, and that's the Animal Kingdom. If CCS Novice was the Animal Kingdom, what the hell is this? Uh, nah, you, you can hear the bait pings coming through too, man. Somebody's telling somebody to do something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but Lord have mercy. Shout outs to Jesus once again. That's all we can say about oh, this one. Oh, no, not again, oh, not my. again. Reedy flashes <laughs> on in. It is a violation His for Toronto Gaming Alpha. Big. His hands are too big, man, and vascular. Have you seen how vascular they are? Man. Oh, my goodness. Riddy deserves fuck. Oh, Riddy deserves all the McChickens in the world. <laughs> Somebody My get this goodness. man to McDonald's. On God. On God. I, I mean, shout out to Jesus. That's why. But That's what I mean, I'm the early. Then. I mean, the early game is just so ridiculous for the side of Dorado Gaming Alpha. You look at, you know, you look at top mid jungle all sitting on shutdowns right now. Hazem two zero zero. Riddy two zero two. Shima three zero and one. The game. It's just exploding right now. HDK getting violated right now. Sh Elucidator's Light getting absolutely railed. Hazem is level 6. Could just go for this solo dive on towards HDK. Hazem just playing with it. his food, man. He's just playing with his food I think food he's right going to go for it. Walks up with that oh, WE. Yeah, a red W. Hazem on a killing screen right now. Oh, I don't know nah. about you, Mikey. But the Metals are kind of getting shot right now. I don't know. You can talk about how broken Sona is. You can talk about how the Jinx she has the broken man. advantage. I promise. Cheers. Cheers indeed. <laughs> hey, but uh, uh, on, on a real note, uh, this this game is kind of going off the rails a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, she was just uh, uh, yeah. She was just picked up another solo kill. Yeah. Eluc Elucidator's light. Elucidator's lights already on us starting to look like mine in um, meta, meta shift in game four. Dying oh, no, a lot, JC, a lot JC, in that I, early I, game. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I was in that chat and I was saying JC clears like every 35 seconds. Uh, Cheers, I was man. I was really pulling for you, man. I, I'm I, God. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't play well that series, so that's on me. But you know, Elucidator's light definitely just getting absolutely abused in this mid lane matchup right now. Definitely not looking good. I, it's I think four thousand gold. At she six must minutes. gotta be mad at somebody. She like, she must gotta be pissed off about something. Like, I, I she must letting him know. I've never seen this the the dog and Shima go go this crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean that. Yeah, that, I mean it's looking like a rabid pit bull right now. That dog in him. I yeah. I mean the press the attack on the Renekton too. I mean, what on earth are the TA Blaze comps like right now? What do you think? I, they've got to be shot at this point. I, I I would assume that there's a there's like you know. Oh, awesome. There's there's got to be like one person. Oh. oh. Okay. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, Hazem didn't have the ult there. Overstepped a little bit, and you know that was definitely a little bit off a blunder from the side of the Dorado Gaming off a top laner, but. You know, big hand ready. He's coming on in. Gonna take the blast plant over. HK has no summoner cells okay, available. It's a ready angle. Remember that. HK forced to run the other way. He's gonna look for the chase on towards this dagger, but no blast plant available. No summoners available for the Zinzao either. Shima the blind is w. on his way though. The blind W, go for it. Right, Shima does have flash, does have that W, does have that empowered all over the wall though, so definitely can be an angle there. They're gonna look for the chase on towards the Darius, and at this point, flash forced out. The chain does go wide, so there's not gonna be a kill there. Three little words is sitting in towards that bottom side though. Wants to be okay, able to look has for the play. ulti. Is yep, a champion. Has to get something back on the map right now. Lobax has done well to be able they to. They had to have spotted him out on that first ward, the by the way. Farm, in the, the ward on the top push there. Yeah, dude. they had to have seen him, because yeah, no attack, no attack is laughing. Yeah, I mean they're letting him know, and Lobax has to recall. They know that he's not there anymore, but you know, once I mean it's th it's even with that kill that HK was able to get in return, it's still three plates gone in topside, just purely solo, three and one Renekton. How do you play the game as the Darius right now? We all talk about Renekton being a useless champion if he doesn't get ahead. But, you know, that's a very big if mark right now, especially considering how strong Hazem is.
Yeah. Uh, if he plays up with with no vision, uh, I think it's. I. Okay, this know. is a different story. Forced to use the flash as well. Lobax falls up with the flash as Got well. The, the spawning shadow comes from Senna downtown. Hazem wants w? to look for the turn. Stuns oh off three little God, words. Man. It is not looking good. The three little words here might be R.I.P. for the side of T.A. Blaze. It is not looking good right now. This is a 5,000 gold lead. They want to look for the continued dive on towards HTK. Gritty is here. Is going to go in first. Haza picks up another kill. The ball lane plays are just going left, right, and center. The first tower falls top at nine minutes. Elucidator's light might be in trouble once again. Shima just going in, going ham with the damage right now. It's not looking very good. CS leads in every department. Plate leads in every department. Kill leads in every department. Perfect tempo. One HP left. Who ass is going to be able to get the return kill on towards No attack. Turn. Fight. Fight. Oh, good flash from the side of the Jinx. So no attack is going to be dead. That lethal tempo Fight on the movement from the Jinx will Let just the be too much win. unless... Oh. Yeah. Dude. Fight him. Yeah. I mean... It, it, it's good kills, but the thing is, Cho'Gath, Everfrost completed. Renekton, Blade of the Ruin King completed. Sin Zhao, Gore Drinker completed. You you look at you look at the items how on much, the top how side. How much gold does? Uh, oh, that's that's a Ludens Ow. on back. Ludens will be completed on back. Ludens full base at 10 minutes 30. Hazem has that serrated Dirk as well. I mean, you, you look at the items on Dorado Gaming Alpha, then you look at. TA Blaze, it's Build a Bear Workshop versus Cocaine Bear right now. Quite <laughs> frankly, Mikey. Hey, co look, Cocaine Bear, uh, you know, uh, uh, shout outs to Jesus. You know what I mean? That's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, first tower is. I mean, this game is just definitely looking a lot more challenging. The chain does land on Twitter. The Double light. chain. The second chain following up as well. Does Shima w. have that W? Boom. Hit the W. Hit the gritty Shima. Unstoppable right now. 5-0-1. How many solo kills is that mid? I can't keep count anymore. Shima uh, going crazy right now. It's it's all five because uh, one one uh, was on to uh, low backs. So it's, it's been, oh, yeah, it's one been five, backs, technically. It's been four on towards Elucidator's light right now. Ready. Uh, three little words might be in trouble as well. Ready gonna look in on towards the Wukong here. Ready still has that ultimate Ready available. Flashing. No ultimate down. Ultimate down for the Wukong too. Shima waiting oh, Shima on hunting. the wing though. Wants to look for three little words. Is Who gonna get the damage as well. Angry. Shima dominating the Sona. Ultimate comes down, but no attack. Pops the Noah Tussi. Shima popping the Shimusi as well. Oh, and it is all Dorado Gaming Alpha. 16 to 5 at 12 minutes. Look, I, all I'm saying is that Shima is out oh. here looking like dojos with how. No, I'm, I, I'm not going to go further with that one. He going full hog. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Next, next thing you know, Shima's going to be playing Yasuo Jungle in the next game. I mean, it's uh, it's a slippery slope, I think. I, I, I don't think we're going into a next game with this series, quite frankly, Mikey. Is oh, looking no, a no, little I'm talking bit next difficult. series, man. <laughs> this is going to carry over. You got to think. You got to think. <laughs> Mo momentum carries, you know? And once you go full hog, there's no going back. So, <laughs> you know, it's... Six, six, six stacks on the Dark Seal done or as Cheers. well. Borg completed on the Senna. I'm, I'm going to be... I'm going to be honest. I think the only way TA Blaze comes back into this game is if collectively... Every single person on Dorado Gaming's al Alpha's monitors get blown out. They have a goth girl sent to their house to distract them for a couple hours. They need a lot done. TA Blaze needs to do anything, doing, do something, anything to get back into this game. It is a 1 and 11 top side of the map. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, I I'm going I'm to I'm say this, man. Uh... If if TA Blaze want to get back into this game, it's time to death ball, guys. Just stack all members on top of Jinx and try and get Jinx as much gold as possible. You get Jinx a bunch of gold, maybe Jinx can pop off if you keep her alive. That's your win con.
Just, just. Yeah, I mean, go if out. like you look at you look at the damage coming out from just everyone right now. Riddy is just playing with his food, playing with his McChickens. They want to dive on towards this bot side as well. This six, the Sona, not looking good. The Zin's out. All is gonna buy some space. Look the away, Sona also jumped down as well. Perfect tempo is gonna go in and try get chunked out a lot. The flash forced out of three little words as well. Not gonna be enough damage to follow. Bashima not gonna be able to get the kill the Wukong W able to buy a lot of space objective bounties are available soon at 14 minutes it is a 8700 gold lead it's gonna be Shima looking for another kill Ooh, gonna take that distortion back not gonna look on towards elucidator's light but quite frankly I think this game is looking pretty doomed here yeah it's looking it's looking a little chalked I'm not gonna lie uh, that's a dead HTK I'm pretty sure um, yeah, yeah I, that's, I mean that's, it's that's looking this rough. This is not looking good. The, do do the you think they have to 15? I, I don't know. The three little words are FF go next at this point. Um, it's uh, that's, it's that's looking. Three words. That's three words? No, FF go next. That's four. FF is one word. No, but Forfeit. FF stands for four. Yeah, but, uh, you know, yeah, you're right. Not bad. Huh? Y'all good? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, I think it's gone to the point where we're deliberating this of all things, Mikey. It's not looking good. Yeah, that's facts. No, that's facts. I mean, I'm pretty sure Hazen's been sitting on those items forever now. I think he's going to base and just buy a full Prowlers. Shima going for that Medjai as, as, as well. I mean, how on God's green earth you come back into this game? It's 10,000. It's 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 about to be 10,000 gold. The Flash oh, stuff, the Flash he's follow. Dead. From Riddy as well. HTK is gonna get a lot of health back. Can't go for the dunk as well, but the mid lane is gonna be a dead Oriana Shima legendary right now. Hazem still looking for the fight. Darius Bleed is gonna be able to pick up the shutdown on towards the Zin Zhao as well. But once again, it's still a very, very big lead. Picking up these shutdowns would do a lot, but can Hazem get on out of there? Three little words follows the flash towards coming in from the Sona as well. The shutdown goes over the Darius. Two big shutdowns going over towards the Darius, but Press X, Mikey. Look at the gold lead. Okay, okay, okay. Does so, Flay, it matter? Flay, don't let the these people lie to you, no. man. We are elite casters of the highest quality, okay? Don't let them lie to you. I can't believe it. Being slandered as well. Unlucky. Yeah, nah, that's but crazy. I'm, Look at the gold, man. Are you going to talk about it? I'm looking at it. That's crazy. 3k in crazy. mid lane just just in mid 3k it is a bit crazy i mean it, it, it's just crazy everywhere like I, I don't know what to say nah man like <laughs> it's such a difficult game to cast at this point because like what are we what are we gonna say man uh i you know i think uh sona is op that's what i'm gonna say I still think she's OP, guys. I don't... I, look, this game is not hey, Technically, indicative. Sona is doing well. 0, 2, and 5. Yeah, I'm just saying. The, the champ is OP, guys. Okay? Based and true. Mm -hmm. Worry about this. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Like, at this point, like, you know, the members of Dog Alpha, I think their priority right now is just basically how can they shut out TA Blaze from the game? You know, you can go for all the solo kills in the world. That's definitely one thing. And I think that they have all the ability to do so. But the thing is, TA Blaze want to be able to, you know, play back, play together, play safe. The Jinx definitely can be a win condition. Although the farm, you know, the gold relative to the other champions, three level difference between Shima and who asked. Oh, no. Oh. Did, he, did he not eat it? I, I think it lived on the on It the lived feast. at 2 HP. Sasha, I'm not thanking Jesus. I'm shouting out Jesus. There's two. They're very different. Okay. I don't. Master, thank no, Jesus. English isn't my first language. You're racist if you're if you're making fun of me for that. I'm just saying. Yeah. Anyways, so. the point is. Well, HK wants this. HK wants this fight. I don't know if you do. Bone plating proc down as well. HK is just taking so much damage, and the punishment is just insane right now. Hazem is just what the playing hell with food at this point. He's trying to hit a Dancing clip. Around. He's trying to hit a clip. You saw that, right? That looked like a Chinese TikTok. That <laughs> did look like a Chinese TikTok right now. I mean, 
that that was that was just it was absolutely mental. Like you know, he went for the E, then went for the Prowlers, then went for the E back, and it's like he's just dancing on him. Seven, two, and zero on this Renekton right now. Hazem is just going crazy. Going, he's him. Wait, is, 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 have you not seen those TikToks? What are you talking Flay, about, man? Flay, grow up! Yeah, literally, man. Huh? This, that's why Flay up. We hate Flay. <laughs> Don't want to hear it, Flay. Don't want to hear it. I mean... How... Like... Shima is 8-0-1. Even if Riddy and Hazem were giving over a couple more kills, Shima is... Sitting very pretty on yes, all that damage. Kush knows what I'm talking about. Anyway. Kush elite. Kush is him. Yeah. But but the point is like, oh, they want to look on. Oh, no. <laughs> cue, hey, don't, cue the don't sad say music. Hey, look. Do not say wizards. All right. Nah, FF. Wizards cheers. <laughs> don't say that, man. I got a Bradley Beal jersey hanging up in my closet right now. I feel bad for you, man. You really spending money on a Bradley Beal jersey. I got a John Wall one too, man. Uh, look, oh, it's it's, it's hard out here. I mean, it's hard out I here. feel bad. I feel bad for you for the John Wall and Bradley Beal jersey. I feel bad for TA Blaze that they're still stuck in this game. Quite frankly, it's just looking so difficult. They could they could start this Baron and TA Blaze can literally do nothing about it. Yeah. And honestly, like they're they're putting up points, you know, they're a straight bucket. Shout out to Antoine Jameson. You know what I'm saying? Flag. I mean, this 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 looks like LeBron cooking the Wizards in that one game where like he like shot the off hey, the back. Calm, calm down, bro. Hey. No, look. this literally is this literally is them just getting absolutely cooked right now. I mean, no tag is gonna get engaged on the Dawning Shadow. Is gonna buy some time, but it looks like the follow up damage is gonna be way too much. Shima is gonna be able to pick up three little words on the side, but Hazem is just jumping on in, going absolutely Hazem, crazy careful, right now. Man. The top wave is gonna, gonna go wide, but Shima oh is gonna God, follow up in the back line with that chain following up. Shima. Double kill going over towards the redacted Shima. One more Shima, W stop. will pick up the jig. Shima Let people stop that. That chesting. Triple kill oh, going over no. to the mid lane off Dorado Gaming Alpha 11 0 1. Lovax has left the game and it is not looking good. It is looking horrible for the side of EA Blaze. Yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's cooked, you know? It's cooked. This, this, this is looking like. This is looking like uh, Matt G's mac and cheese. You know what I mean? It, it is. This uh, is looking like. This is looking like Matt G's sandwich. It is disgusting. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, man. Oh, no. What's happening? I mean, I'm texting my girl. I'm texting my girl. I'm telling her to come over soon because this oh, game's about to be Oh, you texting your girl? Over. Okay. Flex? Yeah, I'm letting, I'm, I'm letting her. I'm, I'm, no, I'm letting her know because I don't really like to come over after I'm done casting. I was worried this was going to go to three games, but maybe I'm thankful for Dog Alpha for, you know, I, I haven't seen her in a week, so. Thank you, Dog Alpha. Cheers. Yeah, che cheers, Dog Dog Alpha. You know, you got you got the biggest hand jungler on the face of the earth, man. Like this this guy. This guy is uh. Flay, shut up. Dang, I mean, Flay. Oh my god. Grow up, Flay. <laughs> Don't want to hear it. Hey, they got Lobax back. All right, Lobax is back in the game. All right, we're chilling. I I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Like, are they calling your are you are they calling your girl a chi is your girl a child, man? No, my girlfriend's older than me. Oh. I don't know why people continue to to do this. <laughs> I also don't know why you're starting why you're letting forty plus people know about it, Mikey. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, 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 nice, cheers, cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I mean, Shiva just is it's a violation. It's a massacre. It's a murder right now. Good shockwave on towards two, but it just does no damage. It's just tickling at this point. Look at Shima. It's really Oh my god, the chain Boom. from Shima downtown one taps perfect tempo and as broken as Sona is, I don't think the OP champion's gonna be able to save oh this God. game here, Mikey. This was this was a certified series that I have participated and and been a part of. This was this was one of the series of all time. <laughs> Definitely some fun, man.
All right, let's cut it to the desk. Who are we interviewing, by the way? Are we gonna I, interview? I I don't know. You gotta ping the teams, man. I can't ping the teams. I'm about I to pull Riddy. somebody in my damn self. Egoing me. Really egoing me, man. Riddy, are you egoing him? Riddy egoing me. Cheers. Cheers, Riddy. Riddy, come interview, man. Why not, Cheers. man? Cheers. 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 Flay, can we interview Riddy, please? Okay, okay, drag him, drag him. <laughs> Should be there. We need, we need someone for this interview, man. Oh, hell yeah, Riddy! Oh my god. Cheers! <laughs> cheers! <laughs> Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> okay. Ready, talk talk to me. This was supposed to be one of the bigger matches of the league. You guys just kind of dumped dumped on them. What happened, man? I don't know. I mean <laughs> I mean, uh I mean, I respect like Globex as a jungler like a lot. And I mean, I think like he's definitely like top 2 or even like better. That anyone here, I mean, it's just Better unfortunate. I mean, who is? You, you right? think Buddha? You think Buddha would turn the series around? No, it would be like fifteen minutes toms. He, he would just blame <laughs> light, and then like, what? What do you expect? Cheers! Like cheers! Exactly! Cheers! <laughs> but yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> cheers. Uh, yep, cheers 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 yes sir yes yeah. sir uh yeah sure uh-huh yeah i'm so, uh, knowing HDK, I've never seen a person more dedicating, dedicated to like getting split push champs. So, and also like, uh, I mean, Lobax like seems to play like a lot of util champs. And I mean, he's known for his greatest kindred, but it just sucks. Like, um, the team, I think the team doesn't let him play it. So, I assume Wukong was. Cheers. <laughs> so yeah um so i assumed it was a wukong jungle and then it was going to be r5 top anyways like that's why they want red side and then what happens when they get r5 just see right what let's do cheers 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 that, then black now. cheers well good job, play. good job good job play cheers but you know what are your expectations for the rest of the season really cheers Cheers. We fix it. We fix yeah. it. You know, we fix it. Uh, we're going to save uh, CB Galaxy, right? Yeah, we're saving CB Galaxy next week. Yep, exactly. You're going to buy no me more a chicken? Of course. You're going to buy me a Shamrock Shake. Oh, hell yeah. Sleep call? Okay. You you're okay. Really, well, you're you are egoing me, man. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, Riddy. So when you order McChickens, do you get it with cheese? or? Okay. <laughs> I've never tried it. I, so funny story. Like yesterday night, I was like watching my friend play league, and he's like, "What should I get?" I'm like, "You know, make chicken with cheese." And then it just started. I, I don't know. I it just randomly popped up. You know, I think I thought it was elite. I think he hated it, but you know, it is what it is. And now it's going to be a running meme. Cheers, hey, cheers. Hey, everybody's saying cut the interview. I, I, I'm I'm going to say one oh, thing. Hell no. B before before we end everything, before we before we cut everything out, I just want to say one thing. Okay, this oh, is yeah. it. Out to Jesus. All right. Um. Matt G clears. Thank you guys. Oh hell no. Matt G clears. I'm sorry guys. Oh, hell it, it, no. Matt G clears. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And Cheers. uh Dude, you got any shout outs? Yeah, uh, shout out for uh, JC. You know, you gave the chip to Chelsea. Like, you are elite for that. Oh, cheers, yeah. cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, we're getting that chip in novice. You know, cheers. And uh cheers. hopefully uh Flake can find casters for next Thursday. So that's gonna be yeah. a fun one. Cheers. And Matt, next yeah. Thursday? Yeah, yeah, for novice. For novice. Oh, no, for yeah. novice. I put I put more effort into novice than advance. I, I'm not playing a novice. I'm just saying. Like yeah, don't get it. I ain't I ain't like some people. Like cheers. Cheers. Like cheers. So, uh, yeah, cheers. Also, cheers. uh yeah, Matt G, you're getting rolled again by DZG and cheers. Uh cheers. Uh yeah. All right. Thanks for the well, interview, Randy. Gentlemen. Appreciate your time, yeah, man. Cheers. You heard it from Cheers. the big hand man himself, Book Chicken with Cheese Ritty. Ladies Cheers. and gentlemen, once again, I'm Jason. I'm Mikey with me on production and as my co caster. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight for a one of the streams of all time. Uh, thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.